This isn't your typical how-to writing book. It's not written in techie language, it's written in easy-to-read prose, and it's punctuated with lots of anecdotes and hints and examples and some real-life things that I experienced as I was learning to write fiction, and they weren't pretty. My objective is to help you not to experience those things. You can preview the book on sites like Amazon, but I'd like to read you a couple of short passages just to give you an idea of the tone of the book, the fact that it's fun besides being educational. I'm going to leave you with one more tidbit, and this is from the chapter P is for pacing. The area is speed it up. As a writer, your arsenal is filled with many tools proven to speed up the pace. Action is best written in short and medium sentences that move the story along. Some of those sentences might be as short as one word, like run or stop. Short bursts heighten anticipation, and if appropriate, they also heighten fear and elation. When writing action, Long descriptions or expository speeches just don't work. All they do is distract the reader from the purpose of the scene. Worse yet, they rarely resonate as real because most people don't compose long thoughts if they're under stress. That doesn't mean the scene should be bland, not at all. But stay on point. For example, Let's assume the person must get from here to there, find the bomb, and defuse it. They aren't going to stop and look in a store window and admire the merchandise. They're going to do anything and everything to get there as quickly as possible. And that establishes the elements for a heart-pounding scene. Obstacles are good because they increase tension. I'm going to give you an instance that actually happened to my sister and I, and we used it in one of our Silver Sisters novels. Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. This is called Keeping It Entertaining or Heart Pounding. In one of my Silver Sisters mysteries, the protagonist twins, Goldie and Godiva, are desperate to get to a house where their mother and uncle are in danger. Stuck in a traffic jam, Godiva tries to change lanes and hits a truck in the next lane. This delays the action, which is getting to the house, induces tension, they're trying to do whatever they can to get back on the road, and it creates fear that something will happen to the oldsters before the twins can reach them. The scene my co-author Phyllis and I created was inspired by something that actually happened to us. Picture this. Phyllis clipped a truck on her right as she was about to change lanes. That small impact caused our front bumper to fly off, sail over the truck, and land on the grass median strip. After Phyllis and the other driver exchanged information, he saw how upset we were. The chivalrous fellow retrieved the rental car's bumper from the grassy strip, then managed to fit it into our back seat with it hanging out the rear windows on both sides. And when we turned the car in later, the clerk's eyebrows raised as Phyllis said casually, Oh, by the way, you'll find the front bumper in the back seat. So add my book to your bookshelf or your reading device. I know you'll refer to it often. People have told me that they even open it in the morning and read a passage just for inspiration before they start writing. <laughs>